hey guys welcome back to my channel so in the past i have created two videos on how to connect our dotnet mavi app to an api which is hosted on our local which is on local host so in first video i showed you about connecting over http and in the second video i showed you how to connect our dotnet mavi app to localhost api over https so both of those videos were uh, using custom http client so we were actually using uh, let me show you mm -hmm. we were using this approach we had our custom http client service and from there we were creating new http client instance by passing our own custom http message handler so this way it works fine there is no issue but the recommended way to use http client is by using http client factory so in this video i am going to show you how to use http client factory to connect the our uh, .NET MAUI app to localhost APIs. So this will, approach will not work. So we need to do something different for this. So for that, and if you want to go through these two videos, I would recommend you to check out these two videos because I am going to use something from these videos. The way we create these platform specific HTTP message handler that I I am going to reuse in this. So I would recommend you to check out the those two videos so you can check those on my youtube channel so youtube youtube.com slash at the rate of my friends so on my channel in videos or maybe you can go to playlist and then you can see this connect dot and my to localhost api and in this As hosting uh, the cloud you can are... check these two so first one is for HTTP, second one is for HTTPS. So I would recommend you to check out this HTTPS one. I'm going to yes. drop the links of these videos in my description box as well. So please do check those out and you can check these from the I button as well. Okay, so enough talking. Here I have created a new .NET MAUI project. It is using .NET 7 and then I have created one API project. So this is also in .NET 7 and it is using minimal API. So I have these two projects right now. So first thing let's uh, configure our API project. So API everything is the default template. We have this weather forecast which returns us some weather forecast. The only thing we'll change. So we will simply add our own uh, port. Basically the URL on which we want this to run. So HTTPS localhost, let's say one two three four five. So we want this API to run on this particular URL, this port. Fine. Now let's go to our uh, .NET MAUI project, and in this first thing we need to register our HTTP client factory. So for that first thing we need one NuGet package in uh, web api project that is uh, by default installed but for dotted mavi project we need to install it and it is microsoft extension http extension dot http we need to have this microsoft extension dot http add package Mm, okay this is successfully added now we can use that so let's see if we can access builder.services.add http client yes we can get this fine now when we are using this http client this is default but we don't need default we need to provide our own custom implementation because this will use the default http client which will not work for http as 
local host we need to provide our own implementation so first we'll provide one name so let's say uh, we could name it whatever we want maui to https localhost we could name it whatever we want then we have second parameter which is an action delegate which takes http client as a parameter so http client we can configure this client here so first thing we need to provide the base address for this so for that we need to get the base address and it is platform specific so we'll use device info dot platform so if device info dot platform is device platform dot android if it is android then we'll use https 10 0 2 2 this is the loopback address which android emulator uses then 1 2 3 4 5 this is the url which we this is the port we provided in our api then next thing is if the device platform is not android so for all other device platforms we could use the direct local host one two three four five now we'll set this base address to our http client http client dot base address not this http client our parameter http client dot base address and it will be our base address http client okay h HTTP client HTTP client dot base address it is going to be new URI and then base address so we configured our base address perfectly fine now it will work it will connect to this but it will fail for HTTPS and how it will fail and how we can debug and get it working you can check out all those both of those videos but in this video i would uh, show one alternate approach in that particular video i showed you by uh, using platform specific uh, message handlers custom message handlers with partial class approach but in this video i would show you by using interfaces so here i'll create a new class a new interface basically and let's call it something like i platform http message handler create we have this let's change it to interface and in this interface we'll have single method which will return http message handler get http message handler let's do this now we'll provide the implementation for this platform right it should be platform now we'll provide implementation for this interface in our platform folders so for android let's create a new class file here we'll say new class and here we'll say android http message handler create and we'll implement i platform what was the name i platform http message handler okay and now we'll implement this interface we need to have this one method and this one method it will return the android http message handle no not android http message handler android message handler which actually comes from
which comes from Xamarin Android Net. So new Android HTTP message handler, and here we need to provide a value for this property, which is server certificate custom validation callback. So to know more about this, I would recommend you to check out the videos I suggested you in the start of this video. I'll add that video in the i box, i button in here as well, so that you can get to know what is it, how it works, and all these things. So I went to the description, the definition of this. So it is a delegate which gets these four parameters and returns a boolean so we'll check this we'll come here then we need to provide this and from here we need to return something and that that something is so these are http request message let's call it certificate And then third one, let's call it chain. And last one is SSL policy errors. So from here, what we'll return, we'll return, we'll check if the certificate dot issuer, if this is C and equals localhost. So this C and equals localhost, what is it from where it is coming? So you can check it in my previous video. So in there I uh, explained it in detail. So CN equals localhost. This is the certificate issuer which we get if we run our Android emulator to connect to localhost basically. So if this is the case or the SSL policy errors, this property, this variable for this func, so SSL policy error if this is ssl policy errors dot none if this is the case then we'll return true else we'll return false let's clean this up fine so this is ready for android now let's add the implementation for this i platform message handler in the ios folder so in ios let's create a new class here we'll say iOS HTTP message handler and here also we'll implement this interface implement interface fine and here we'll just do one thing we'll say new NS URL session handler will return it and here we have one property which is trust override for url and if we check the type of this property and we cannot navigate to this again ns url handler trust override for url callback so this thing it gives us something uh, let me check what it gives it gives us first is ns url session handler which is the sender then second is string string url and then third is sec trust sec trust which is ns url session handler string url and then sec trust and let's Say trust so this is type of this set trust right set trust and which in uh, which namespace it comes from so let me check it comes from security namespace security so using security fine and from here we'll check url dot start with if this starts with HTTPS localhost, then we'll say just bypass the certificate check. So we trust this certificate. 
so please bypass this and continue the request so that's all for platform specific things now let me save everything now we'll go to maui program and now next thing we will configure this http client by passing our own uh, message handler to this okay so for that what we need to do here we'll use configure http message handler builder it gets builder and here we need to set it but so builder dot we have primary handler this property which is of type http message handler and this type we need to get the primary message handler on the basis of the uh, platform basically so we have two approaches either we can get those directly here by having something like let's say we will say http message handler platform message handler and what we'll do we'll do simply conditional compilation we'll say if this is android then let's do one thing what is that thing that is for this we'll provide platform message handler equals we will get it from Mm -hmm. okay or maybe let's do one thing let's not do this but do this builder dot services dot add singleton will register our uh, this interface which we created i platform std message handler because we are using this interface from here we'll provide uh, concurrent implementation and that implementation will be if the platform is android please return what we need to return platform dot and this platform is this platforms folder dot android dot android http message handler okay then we'll say elif and then we'll return in this case if this is not uh, android if this is ios we can change it from here then we'll return simply new platforms dot ios dot what is the issue ios dot then what was the name ios http message handler let me copy this and where is my program yes it is here like this and then we'll say and if okay fine what is the issue oh if this is ios okay now it will work this is new it should be new fine so if this is ios then if we not add scope it should be at singleton hmm. it could be sp scoped but it makes more sense so if we are accessing this on ios it will return as the ios http message handlers and if we are using it on android it will return this thing fine we have registered it now what we'll do in this primary handler we will set simply will get platform http message handler and this will get from builder dot services dot get required service and of type i platform mm -hmm, i platform http message handler we need to get the implementation of this thing and we are using get required service because if this is not registered somehow so it should throw the exception because without it we will not be able to work right we need it so builder dot primary handler it will be our platform http message handler dot get http message handler 
so this is all we need to do for this now let's use this http client factory in our maui app so on main page.xaml let's use it here only and we'll do the same thing we did in the, that project what we'll do we'll have two buttons first let me remove this we don't need all this image and all this fine and this counter button we don't need this name after that click me let's say we'll say but no not android it should be the same right so we'll say get data from api and here we'll have a label with a name which let's say label only get data from api let me change this on counter click to on get data from api click control c let's go to the this page let's change this name we'll change it to async we don't need this count now we don't need all of this now we need our http client factory here so for that what we'll do we'll do i http client factory http client factory mm -hmm. so we'll have private read only http client factory here underscore http client factory underscore http client factory equals this http client factory and now we'll get http client http client from here we'll get http client factory dot create client we need to pass the name of the client and that name is this thing you could have it in some constant fine now we have this http client and from this http client we can simply request the data so we'll say http client dot get async and the url if we check our api we have name slash weather forecast that's it so maui program dot cs slash weather forecast we'll say where response equals await this and then we'll read this but before that let's check if response dot its success status code if this had some data then we'll read the data which will be await response dot content dot read as string async and then when we got this data then we'll use our label which we created here this label we'll access this here and then we'll set the text label dot text what is the issue l a b e l dot text equals content okay let me save everything save all and let's try to run this on first let's try it on android So it's building for android it is taking time because it is running for the first time deploy to device and we have some error and what is it this is the thing i hate so much we do not get the actual error and oh we are getting no parameter less constructor defined okay i got it what is it uh do let me know in the comment here if you know what the issue is here okay so i'll tell you what the issue is 
we are using this ihttp client factory in this main page but this main page this does not uh, gets created automatically by the framework we actually get it from the Hmm. Am I wrong? App shell. App shell. We are using app shell, and we are using this main page. No, no, no. Was I wrong? Let's see the error. Mm -hmm. Where was that? I thought it is coming from app shell from app but it is not it is default here main page but it should have worked oh I'm sorry my bad my bad it is main page but we have not registered main page okay I was thinking something different fine so builder dot services dot we could register it as singleton because this is the main page first page so we can register it as singleton main page fine my bad okay let's run it this time it should be quick i think and we'll get another issue we need to run the api which we are not running right now run with custom configuration open in terminal okay dot net run and this thing should be running at the port we defined uh, where is terminal terminal we lost that how can we move to the the other terminal where is it application maui this this i'm still not uh, much confident working on mac so i'm just learning okay it is building it should work this time let's see okay app is running get data from api we clicked on it and we got the error exception is the api running i just don't know if that is running one two three four five six we i don't know where that terminal went but let's try one more thing we'll run it from the external terminal so copy relative file path how can we open this direct this folder directly in this file directly in folder explorer i don't know show in finder let me open the terminal on the api i am here and i'll open terminal from this location and let's see dot net run if it is working on the correct port yes it is working on https localhost one two three four five now if we try this do we have some error in this error means it is in okay in some stuck state continue continue let's run it again get data from api and we got the data fine finally it is working on android now let's try it on iphone let me change this open ios simulator building okay it's loading app is here get data from api and we got the data 
that means this HTTP client factory is working for both and we can get the data on both the uh, Android emulator and iPhone simulator. Fine. So that means everything is working as we expected. Okay, so I think that's all for this video. Let me give you a quick refresher, quick recap what we did. We have this dot and my project dot and seven uh, target framework. Then we have this API minimal API which we are running on HTTPS localhost 12345 this thing so in this video I showed you how can you connect dot and my app to HTTPS localhost API from dot and my using HTTP client factory so for that first we install installed our dot net uh, NuGet package Microsoft extensions HTTP to enable the HTTP client factory this HTTP client factory then we configured the base address for this HTTP client which we have on Android we have 10.0.2.2 and on all other platforms in this case the iOS iPhone for that it is the same HTTPS localhost then we set this HTTP client base address after that we had to pass our own custom implementation for HTTP message handler for this HTTP client so because we need to bypass this HTTPS certificate check because on localhost the certificate is not trusted. So for that what we did we created one interface which is iPlatform HTTP message handler which is in the Maui project on root which has only one method which is get HTTP message handler which returns HTTP message handler and it will be platform specific HTTP message handler. Then we created a class in platforms Android folder, which is Android HTTP message handler. We implemented this interface and we are returning one HTTP message handler, which is Android specific. And here we are bypassing the server check. If it is coming from localhost, we are actually accepting it. We are bypassing this for Android. And the same thing we did for iOS, we created class iOS HTTP message handler in the iOS platforms iOS folder where we returned an instance of NS URL session handler by passing custom uh, override for this test override for URL where we are just bypassing if the URL starts with HTTPS localhost we will simply uh, bypass the check we will trust the certificate and then what we did in our Maui program after setting the HTTP client base address, we configured HTTP message handler builder. Here we need to pass our own HTTP message handler in the builder.primary handler. And here we are doing this. We are passing the instance of I platform HTTP message handler, the interface we created. And before this, we registered it in our dependency container registry by with lifetime singleton and for this we are passing if the we are using conditional compilation if the platform is android we are returning the android specific http message handler and if the platform is ios we are returning ios specific message handler and you could add others as well the you will need to have these conditional compilation conditions and then you will need to pass your uh, implementation of IE platform HTTP message handler in this Mac Catalyst or Windows or Tizen folders. So here we have registered it and then when we are uh, configuring this HTTP message builder we first got the implementation of IE platform HTTP message handler by using builder service get required service then we simply get the get HTTP message handler method from this message handler and it will return us platform specific message handler. So this is all related to registration. Then we are using this in our main page. So here we are injecting ihttp client factory. And from here we are using ihttp client factory to create client and the name of our client which we set in the Maui program. This name so which is our uh, HTTP client basically. And then we are doing the same thing we would have done with the HTTP client. So that's all for this video. Please like this video if you like this approach and share this video, subscribe my channel and 
आई एम एक्चुअली क्रिएटिंग अ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन वेयर आई एम क्रिएटिंग ए ग्रॉसरी ऐप ई कॉमर्स ऐप यूजिंग डॉट नेट मावी सो आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉप द लिंक ऑफ दैट सीरीज एज वेल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड इन आई बटन सो प्लीज डू चेक दैट सीरीज आउट दिस थिंग इज गोइंग टू बी यूज इन दैट प्रोजेक्ट एज वेल बिकॉज दैट इज यूजिंग ए पी आई ऑल्सो सो दैट्स ऑल आई एल बी बैक सोन माई थिंक